The truth is, we're continuing with another set of pie charts. This is exports of India, given us two different pies. This gives us to which countries the exports go to. This is by sectors. Right? So breakdown of India's export during the year 2009-10. The total number, the total amount was 200 billion. Obviously, that's the tot same total amount in this pie chart also. And then India's exports grew by 15% in this year. And the external ministry expects it to grow by a further 15% in the next year. So it's grown from something by 15% to reach this. From here, it will grow by another 15%. And that's what they are hoping for the next year. Again, get the hang of the data before you go to the questions. What exactly is presented? How is it presented? Get that idea and then we'll go further. Now let's go to the questions. If exports to the US are expected to stay stagnant, by what percentage should India's exports to China grow by for China to overtake US as the country that imports most from India? And so this number is 32% of X. This number is 25% of X. How much should this grow by for this to overtake this? Very simple. The most important thing to note here is I don't have to deal with the actual numbers. 25% of something to 32% of something. From 25% of X, I go to 32% of X. How much should I grow by? I should grow by 7% of X. On what? 25% of X. 7 by 25 into 100, which is 28%. Very often, very often in pie charts, you will not be required to deal with the overall number. For many comparisons, for comparing within the pie, or for comparing growth rate, shares, we're doing highest, lowest, what is the maximum, which, can, which sector has seen the highest growth, least growth, all of that, the overall number might not be required. To find the actual number it might be, but to compare it will not be. So keep that in mind. Right? Okay, just recap this. If you're comparing highest and lowest, if you're comparing two pie charts and you want to find ratios, which is highest, which is lowest, then the underlying base doesn't matter. If you're comparing within a pie, this is 20% of the pie and 40% of the pie. This has to double to catch up with that. It doesn't matter what the actual number is. And keep that in mind. We'll go to the next question. The NASCOM expects that India's software exports should grow by 30% in 2010-11. What rate should the other sectors grow by to meet the overall target of 15% year on year in exports? Exports overall is 100%, let me call it 100 units. They, they expect it to become 115. Software is 30. Software grows by, they expect it to grow by 30%. 30% of 30 is 9. The software goes to 39. Or the remaining 70 should go to 115 minus 39, 76. Again, remember, I completely bypassed the overall number. I don't care whether the overall export were 200 billion or 23.967 trillion or 8,400,000 crores, rupees, I don't care. Fine, so I am dealing with one share to another share. I don't need the overall number. 100, they expect it to go to 115. 30, they expect to go to 39. This is a growth of 9. This is a growth of 15. The remaining 6 should come from here. Or the growth rate we are looking for is 6 by 70 into 100. Or 60 by 7, which is... 8 point something, 8.5 percent, we're done. Do not deal with actual numbers. Keep that in mind. Very often in pie charts, will not require any actual numbers. Keep that in mind. Just explain the same thing digitally. Let's go to the next one. 40 percent of textile exports are to the EU. What percentage of exports to EU are textiles? 40 percent of this to the EU, 40% of 22%, which is 8.8% of overall. So out of this 20%, some 8.8% is textiles. What percentage of EU exports to EU are textiles? Nothing but 8.8% expressed as a percentage of 20%. 8.8 by 20 into 100, 4.4 by 10 into 100. This is practically a percentages question. Nothing much to do by interpreting the data given in the chart. If this is given, you find express the same textile 
जो एक्सपोर्ट्स टू यूरोप टेक्सटाइल्स एक्सप्रेस इट एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ यूरोप गिवन दैट एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ टेक्सटाइल्स ऑफ एंड वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट वन If software exports grow by 30 percent year on year and exports to the U.S. grow by 10 percent year on year, by how much will India's software exports exceed India's exports to the U.S. by? Again, the beauty of this question, you can deal with percentages. This number where x, this where x, software grows by 30 percent, or this will become 39 percent of x. Exports to e U.S. grow by 10 percent. 10% of 32 is 3.2 plus 32%. This will be 35.2% of x. How much will this exceed this by? This will exceed this by 3.8% of x. Now the answer has to be in actual terms. It cannot be in percentage terms. So x is 200 billion. What is 3.8% of 200 billion? 7.6 billion. So 3.8 by 100 into 200 billion. 7.6 billion US dollars. Right. Deal with the simpler numbers throughout. Plug in the overall number as late as possible. Very simple ideas. Right. Go to that next one. Which of these is definitely greater than 25 billion dollars? Right. The first one, Indian exports to the US in 2009-10. US is 32 percent. 32 percent of 200 billion, 64 billion. This definitely counts. India's software exports in 2009-10 is 30 percent of 200 billion. This definitely counts. India's exports to the EU in 2008-9. Remember, this is 8-9, not 9-10. These two are 2009-10. That is the year we are having under consideration. 2008-9. Overall, 2008-9 to 9-10, the growth is 15 percent year on year. But we don't know what could have been EU share. It is theoretically possible. But in 2008-9, we exported nothing to the EU. India exported nothing to the EU, so this we cannot say. This India's textile exports in 2010-11. 2010-11, we can have expectations, estimations, predictions, but you cannot say anything concrete. So, which of the following is definitely greater than 25 billion? One and two, one and two only. As a choice again, and keep one eye out on the choices. When you are dealing with pie charts, keep one thing in mind. You might not have to deal with the overall number for all questions. So, as much as possible, avoid doing stuff with the overall number. Once you get that anchored, pie charts become very simple.